for me, um, a lot of my family had no one had gone to university, so for me to go to university was a little a different path than um, most of my pre my family, and and then um, also a, a, adopting our kids was I think an ambitious undertaking um, as they, as they have disabilities, both have Down syndrome. Um, but I also um, don't see myself as pushing to get better jobs at, and, you know, so for some people that might be ambitious and, and I don't really see that. I have, enough, I have a job that makes, makes some money and enough for us to live on and, and so does my wife and so I, I, I think different people have different definitions of ambitious. I had a summer job working in a plastics factory, which is how I made the money to go to school the next year, but it also taught me that I, I really didn't want to do that with my life. Um, uh, uh, you know, that, that kind of work, and some people that is their occupation, and, and that's great because we need people doing that, but that, that wasn't for me over the long run. I, I did fine for a few months at a time, um, but it was just part of, a, part of the education that I want, motivation to continue to go to school landed in a, a, a managing a shelter for homeless men um, and I did that for several years um, partially working at a bank at the same time so two different completely different careers but then I also um, uh, once I left the, the bank got bought out by a bigger bank and so my job ended because I didn't want to move to another city um, to carry on that I, I still had the homeless shelter work and so then I started doing the bookkeeping and that kind of stuff for the shelter and and then I did that until I moved to New Zealand and some of it's just luck of whether you know things go well at night and your kids sleep through the night and you know, so it's not always in your control.